Hello, hi everybody, I am Thekla Petridou, a Greek Cypriot psychologist, YouTuber and author. And this is our weekly video in English. Today it's Friday, the 8th of January 2021. Last Friday, it was the New Year's Day. This is why I did not have the time to upload the video, but we come back to our routine, our usual routine. Today's subject is a subject that might be of interest to a lot of people. Toxicity in the workplace and hypersensitivity. I will have to explain firstly uh, the term hypersensitivity. Hypersensitive person is a person who detects easily negative energy and negative emotion around them. Uh, people who are um, uh, emotionally intelligent, they can detect the changes in their environment from other people that are there. They can feel when somebody likes them or not. They can feel with some, with some, when somebody detect, detests them or not. They can understand when uh, some person's feelings are not what his mouth says or her mouth says. Hypersensitivity was considered to be a, a bad uh, characteristic in the past, a bad personality trait. But uh, what we know uh, nowadays is that hypersensitive people are highly um, intelligent, emotional, emotionally people. It's a good thing. It's a good trait. People are usually born hypersensitive or they can become hypersensitive. It depends on how much they listen to their selves, they listen to their gut instinct, and they um, try to feel and analyze their emotions. Hypersensitivity is a trait that young children have and uh, pets also can have. Uh, you know your pet that they start uh, barking when someone gets in the house and they might have a friendly face or a friendly voice or they might say friendly stuff, but they don't mean well. Or uh, our children, um, I remember when my son was young, he was like three or four years old, I had this, um, this uh, visitor in the house. She was an, an old friend of mine from school. She came there and my son was very negative towards her. And in the following weeks, I realized why he was negative because that person had some kind of toxicity and she had to be removed from our inner circle. Anyway, hypersensitivity is a positive trait, but, but hypersensitive people suffer greatly when they face toxicity in their lives. I said the example earlier about family life and having a guest over in the house, which is easy to make a decision that I do not want to have any friendship or any more social interaction with this person. So I cut the communication and my house is toxic free. But what happens when you have toxicity in your workplace? Toxicity in the workplace is um, usually um, addressed uh, as mobbing. This is the word that is used and it's used to describe the situation whereas uh, a co-worker or someone who has a higher position in the job or a, or a lower position in the job um, makes psychological war towards another person. Psychological war means I try to um, be uh, malicious to you in psychological ways, not in physical ways. I do not, um, I do not approach you physically. I'm not physical, physically violent. I'm psychologically violent towards you. There are many ways of people to have this kind of behavior. They might um, um, look at the other person in a certain way that is not um, a positive way. They might look at you from bottom to top and you can see in their eyes that they are having negative thoughts about you, or they can um, uh, stonewall you. For example, you speak to them and they do not answer back. They can badmouth you. 
They can make problems in your cooperation. If you have a, um, a professional cooperation, you have a project together, for example, they might delay on purpose or they might um, uh, do anything that, <laughs> that they can do so that you do all the hard work and they don't. They might uh, spread rumors about you in the workplace or they might um, uh, have negative feelings towards you and they might uh, look at you in a hostile manner. Uh, or their whole uh, approach towards you to be a negative one. Um, how do you deal with it? Whereas the situation is uh, complex because we all need to work. And if you, work, if you work in a company with lots of people or fewer employees and you need that work and you need that job and it's not easy for you to, to leave your job, you have to find ways to deal with it. How do we deal with it? First of all, we should tell ourselves the truth because usually we try to make ourselves calmer by telling ourselves, oh, it's nothing. It's just your imagination. Or you are being a very harsh, um, you, you are being very harsh on your judgment about this person. Maybe they are not uh, as you feel they are. Do not um, make yourself shut up. Allow yourself to feel and trust your judgment. It's okay not to like somebody. It's okay to have a negative opinion about one of your co-workers and it's okay to detect toxicity and to be in a position to protect yourself from that toxicity. How do you, how do, you do that? You avoid interaction with that person as more as possible. You do not try to approach them. People who are toxic towards you, you do not try to make them like you. This is wasted energy that also makes you feel bad about yourself even more and more and more. We have this, this saying in Greek, you know I'm Greek, and my mother tongue is Greek, that you feed the wolf so that they don't bite you. Uh, sometimes we try to approach toxic people, we try to make a good impression on toxic people in order for them to like us and to have a better life. And the result is quite the opposite. We absorb as much toxicity as possible from them. So we realize which people are positive towards us and which people are negative towards us. We, um, we uh, respect our gut instinct. We uh, listen to ourselves and our judgment and we try to avoid them and we try to put boundaries. We try to say no. We learn how to say no. I don't like your behavior. Please stop it. I don't want to do this. It's none of my interest. If, someone, if a toxic person in your office comes and spreads rumors about other people to you, you could say, I'm sorry, but it's none of my interest what our coworker do or don't do, so I would like you not to talk to me about it. If you work in a big company that there is a human resource uh, department, you might, uh, you might try to take um, a consultation from the human uh, resource experts to ask them whether uh, there, are, there is something you could do in order to make your life better in the workplace, because this is the role of the human resource department, to help the employees with their uh, relationships in work. Uh, try not to be um, uh, passive, not to show um, uh, that you are afraid of them, the people that are, uh, are reacting in a toxic way towards you. Try to show them that you are very well aware of what happens. Try to show them that you really do care about what happens and that you do not accept them to behave the way they do and try to put boundaries and try to keep yourself out of the situation. You might ask for a transfer in another department or you might consider changing a job. I know it's a difficult era. 
I know that there is the coronavirus pandemic and there is also a global economic crisis. But, but, at any time, we can better our lives by trying for a better alternative. Usually we tell ourselves, no, you can't find a job elsewhere. Oh, the financial climate is very difficult. Don't even think about it. Try. Keep your options open. Apply for jobs elsewhere. Send your uh, CV to as many companies as possible. Try to change location. Um, if something happens in your workplace that violates the laws, for example, any kind of harassment, you report the incident. And first of all, listen to yourself and allow yourself to feel uh, the threat and to get protected by the threat. Because the question given to me, this was a question by a viewer of my channel. She said, I have this friend who is a very good friend of mine and she's uh, English speaking, she's not Greek and she experiences toxicity in her workplace and she's also a hypersensitive person. Can you please make a video about it? Uh, because I don't have any more information on the subject, I said some general ideas and I advised this lady that she's gonna watch the video since it was a request of hers, that it would be a very good idea to consult a psychologist uh, on her own, to have, some, to have an appointment with a psychologist or a psychotherapist and discuss the actual um, uh, events in their work in her workplace, how they affect their um, her mental health, how they affect the way she feels, how this disrupts or not her daily routine, and get some um, advice that is especially for her. Uh, I close this video by saying again that hypersensitivity is a trait of emotional intelligent people and that toxicity could become, could uh, happen in any environment, but in the work environment is more difficult to handle because it's not your own house that you close the door to these people that harass you. I wish you the best. Have a nice weekend, everybody. See you next Friday. Bye.